Hey everyone, Board Game Brody here with Maple Mountain, bringing to you a preview of Winner Winner Chicken Dinner by 25th Century Games. In Winner Winner Chicken Dinner, you are competing to collect the most chickens, or even better, the most chicken dinners. This is a Yahtzee variant game as you will be rolling six dice on your turn and then deciding which dice to keep and which to re-roll. After rolling any number of the dice three different times during your turn, you will perform the dice actions and abilities. To set up, the board will be laid out and the dog meeple will be at the start of the dog path. This path is a game timer. Depending on the number of players playing the game, whenever the dog reaches a certain number, 20 for 2 players, 30 for 3 players, and 40 for 4 players, the game will end. You will place 15 chickens per player here in the coop. You can also see that there are 6 normal dice and 1 special hunt die that is placed in its designated area. This die will be used with certain card abilities. The fox's market is placed near the board with three action cards placed on each section. The fox icons show how many fox die the cards cost. These cards will give you immediate actions like swapping bags or stealing chickens from another player. If the card doesn't say play immediately, then you can keep it in your hand and play it anytime after you finish rolling your dice on your turn. Each player will take a bag, two chicken tokens which is placed inside your bag, and a fox character card is dealt out at random to each player. The player who most recently ate chicken will become the starting player. On your turn, you will roll the six hunt dice. Examine the results and choose which ones you would like to re-roll. All dice can be re-rolled except if the dice is showing a dog. After re-rolling, you will do the same, choosing which ones you would like to re-roll. At this point, you will examine your dice and perform the dice action and abilities in any order that you would like. Also, at this time, you may also play any cards in your hand before performing any of the dice actions. The foxes will let you purchase cards in the foxes market. The total number of dog faces rolled will advance the dog meeple on the track. If two of these are rolled, then you can choose a player to lose a chicken and place it back in the coop. If three dogs are rolled, then you can steal one chicken from another player. The total number of chickens shown will allow you to take that many number of chicken tokens from the coop and then add them to your bag. Chicken legs allow you to take a number of chicken tokens from your bag and turn them into chicken dinner with the chicken legs side up. The chicken dinner tokens cannot be stolen and are kept in front of each player throughout the game. At the end of each turn, if there are any empty slots in the fox's market, cards will slide down and a new card will be flipped out and added to the market. The dice will then be passed to the next player and their turn will begin with them rolling the dice. The game ends when the dog meeple reaches its game end location or when all chicken tokens are gone from the coop. At this time, you'll count victory points. You are awarded two victory points per chicken dinner token and one victory point per chicken in your bag. The player with the most victory points wins the game and they become the winner winner chicken dinner. This game is a great Yahtzee variant and includes special abilities for each player, chances to swap bags with other players to potentially gain more points, and attacking other players by stealing chickens from their bags and using cards from the market. The focus is on dice rolling and hoping that you get the results that you want. Rolling chickens is easier to do as you don't need to pair them up like you do with the chicken dinners. If you end up with one die that has a chicken dinner on it, then it does you no good. To benefit from the chicken dinners, you need to pair them up. You get to roll the die three times deciding which dice you want to re-roll each time. So you have some tough decisions sometimes, especially if you have an odd number of chicken dinners and you need to pair it together to be able to use it. Do you stick with the chicken dinners and use the other dice to try to roll for another one? Or do you pick up the chicken dinner dice and hope for something else? Also, whenever you turn your chickens into chicken dinners, they now cannot be stolen by any other players. And this is huge because the chicken bags will be getting passed around all the time during the game. And who really knows which bag you'll end up with? So secure some points by getting some chicken dinners in front of you. Remember, you can put a ton of chickens in your bag, which will all be one point at the end of the game. But someone most likely will switch bags with you from one of their market cards. These cards can actually be very powerful when used at the perfect moment. Due to this, players might want to try to pay attention as to which bag has the most chickens inside of it. That is the bag that you want to try to end up with at the end of the game. If you think you're ahead in the game, there are always ways to try to cause the game to end so that you might win. This would be something like trying to get as many as the chickens out of the coop as you can, or by moving the dog across the ending mark. Rolling dice, swapping bags full of chickens, and hoping to make chicken dinners is what this game is all about. Winner Winner Chicken Dinner by 25th Century Games will soon be live on Kickstarter. Hopefully, you can check it out and get it to your table. Again, this is Board Game Brody. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Stick around and check out some other board game reviews to see what you might want to get to the table.